Xbox showcase um, was rather good, uh, considering the situation that Xbox has kind of found themselves in of late. Uh, it hasn't been particularly that good. Uh, they've been in a pretty rough situation with uh, studio closures um, and stuff. Uh, but this was a genuinely very, very good showcase. Um, I was quite surprised, honestly, given the uh, issues they've had. But um, let's go on to uh, what they actually showed. So obviously, Black Ops 6. Um, like Black Ops 1 and 2 kind of fell off it after that i didn't really play that much of the i think i played a bit of free once but um main campaign don't personally care about campaigns in call of duty they're all pretty much the same but it did look innovative they've made some changes um so anybody that's into that is probably going to enjoy that uh the movement changes they've made in terms of how you can move and twist and turn uh it's going to make for some interesting uh and particularly multiplayer differences in terms of how you move about and uh, it could be kind of fun so and i'm more interested in zombies and obviously multiplayer mode because most people will just play multiplayer that is pretty much where most people play um but it's nice that they're making a bit of innovation in the single player campaign uh so that was looking pretty good uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna this is gonna be thanks to reddit by the way uh of the stuff coming out uh dates etc so uh shout out to reddit who, unlike a lot of the big websites, actually list things in an order where it's not game, picture, game, picture, so, and then videos, links, etc., etc. So anyway, so we've got Fallout 76, Skyline Valley. Uh, don't really give a crap, honestly, about Fallout 76. I played a bit of 4 on Series X, and um, yeah, it, it, it's not my kind of game, but I like some of it it was fun it's glitchy as hell it's it's not a game where i would ever say it's innovative in terms of um the tech but um yeah it was fun for what it was and um i know some people love fallout the series was very very good i cannot complain about the series it was tremendously good um and tremendously violent which was uh slightly shocking so uh hitting the uh list for 2024 we have fallout 76 skyline valley uh expansion don't know a lot about it. D didn't really interest me, as I said. That's June twelfth. Uh, you got depersonalization. June twelfth, twenty twenty four. Uh, no idea. Oh, this is coming to Game Pass. Sorry, as well. So uh, PC and uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass. So depending on what version of Game Pass you've got. Uh, by the way, to all UK viewers, uh, I don't know if this applies elsewhere in the world. It might. Uh, CD Keys right now is doing three months of Game Pass for twenty pounds. So if I were you, I'd jump on that because I've just jumped on that and that's well worth the money. Uh, so as I list these games, I might just say that some of this is just Game Pass stuff as well as the newer stuff coming out. So we've got Izon, no idea what that is. Thirteenth of June, Callisto Protocol, thirteenth of June, Flinlock, The Siege of Dawn. I think that was one of the newer games. Eighteenth of July, twenty twenty four. I think that was. That might be one of the Soulsborne type games. Um, I have, n I've never gotten on with Souls games as good as they look. So for me, that's probably something maybe to delve into. I do have Dark Souls on Steam, but I just, I just, I don't know. It just didn't do anything for me personally. But I know people love the Soulsborne games. Uh, Still wakes the deep, eighteenth of June, twenty twenty four. No idea what that is. Uh, Flock, again, never heard of it. Sixteenth of July, twenty twenty four. Dungeons of Hinterburg I have heard of, and I think I've even seen it at some point. Uh, but, again, uh, it's too many games now to even keep track of. 18th of July, 2024. Kitsugami Path of Godness, Windows uh, Xbox Series, 19th of July, 2024. Sea of Thieves, uh, Season 13, 25th of July, 2024. And that's also on PS5 and there's some speculation that might be coming to the next generation Switch. Frostpunk 2, 25th of July, 2024. Steam Heist 2, 8th of August, 2024. Steam Heist, I think it's a... Steam, I think it's a big game on Steam. I've never played it, but I've heard quite a bit about it. Uh, on to the newer stuff. So Age of Mythology Retold, which I believe is a remaster. I've never played Age of Mythology. Uh, but it looks like Age of Empires... Just more... 
uh, mythical and Greek and more goddess powers and stuff. It, it looks very, very good. Um, not sure how that would hit on console. Uh, I believe the series consoles um, support mouse and keyboard, but I've never actually tried. So that might be a video to do at some point. Uh, that is coming out uh, 4th of September 2024. Stalker 2. That looks good. Heart of Chernobyl, 5th of September 2024. Um, very like the Metro games. Um, in fact, I think Stalker predates. Yeah, Stalker predates the Metro games by quite a quite a long time. Fifth uh, of September, twenty twenty four. So I think that's going to be good. Uh, and these again, the ones I've listed, these are all Game Pass. So as I said in one previous video, Game Pass, the growth of it, it needs to grow. Now, before I was very like, I don't think this Game Pass is going to grow. I think they're going to go third party. I think I was wrong massively on that um, for sure because looking. At everything coming out so I guess we'll see but I think that's gonna have growth Call of Duty back up 6 25th of October 2024 there is a deep dive on there for the campaign but I believe there's gonna be one for zombies mode which is round based apparently and um, the multiplayer uh, next up we've got so sofa tale of a stolen potato no idea what that is I don't even recall. Some of these aren't ones that were in the uh, showcase, if I don't believe. That's Q3 this year. Dead Static Drive. No idea what that is. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've been told that's very, very good. Uh, very. Uh, it's a bit of a, a PC killer in terms of like raw performance, So, but it's on console as well, so that's always good. That's uh, 19th of November. Uh, Vapor World Overmind Q4 this year, 2024. City Skylines 2, which was... I enjoyed the first game, but they released the second game, and it was very, very broken uh, in terms of performance, which I always think is a big no-no when it comes to PC games, but sadly that's what some do. But the game itself is very, very good from what I've been told. Uh, Q4, 2024 on that. All You Need Is Help, Fall 2024. No idea what it is. Arc 2, is that the one with Vin Diesel? Uh, I still enjoy Arc 1, but... It's not a game that I'd ever feel needs a sequel, but maybe they'll make some innovative changes to the game. Uh, that's 2024, late 2024. Avowed, which was, looked quite interesting. It looked like very Skyrim-ish, but with uh, more colour, I would say, for sure. Fall 2024. Uh, Araria? History Untold 2024? No idea what that is. Uh, Magic Delicacy 2024. Towerborn, I think, is one I did see at the showcase, I'm sure. Or I saw it beforehand, I can't remember. It's too many damn games now. 2024. Ghost Spike, not a clue what that is. 2024. Bounty Star, 2024. Commando's Origins, I presume that's based on the old Commando franchise. I haven't played one of them since the late 90s, I think. Uh, that's 2024. Really? Pigeon Simulator? Really? Uh, look, the pigeons are like the... Uh, the bird... They're like the... The chavs of the bird world. If you know what a chav is. <laughs> um, just go with me on that one. Uh, British people will know what that means. Most, anyway. Uh, 2024. Replaced. No idea what that is. 2024. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I wasn't that interested in that originally but that looks quite interesting it looks like indiana jones like with a wolfenstein twist on it so that could be good uh it's graphically it looks fantastic i just hope the gameplay in the story is going to be it's going to be the first three indiana jones films you know uh temple of doom uh sorry raiders of the lost art temple of doom and uh, last crusade because they're they're still fun to this day uh 2024 so that's sometime this year uh, Creatures of Ava, Windows and Series X, Xbox Series consoles, 2024. The Alters, again, Windows, Xbox Series, 2024. Age of Mythology, so what was the one I just looked up there then? Age of Mythology Retold. Uh, okay, so I've already read that one out, so it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know why that's listed twice. Uh, 33 Immortals, 2024. We've read that one already. Firework, no idea what that is. 2024. Caplifra? 
again, no idea what that is. 2024. Volcano Princess. 2024. And that's pretty much it for this year. Next year we've got Mecha Break. There's a 2025. There's a beta for that in August 2024. Uh, Fable. I've played some of two. Uh, wasn't a game I really got into, but uh, it it was kind of an interesting game. There's a lot to it. Um, I'm trying at the moment to download some JRPG games to try and get into them because I struggle with those types of games because of the time investment required to play them. So, but yeah, Fable looks quite interesting. Um, I guess we'll see with Fable, but that's 2025. Uh, Doom looked fantastic. But I again, I've never really gotten into the modern Dooms. I prefer the older Doom games, like before three, like the original two. Uh, the N sixty four game is incredibly underrated and, and really, really good. I'd recommend trying it out on Game Pass, or if you even own the original N sixty four cartridge. Uh, it's one that's getting up there in price now, but it's well worth checking out. Uh, but it's Doom: The Dark Ages. It's like a medieval twist on Doom. Um, I played a bit of Doom and a bit of Doom Eternal, but I can't believe I'm saying this, but it seemed very style over substance to me. It's fun, but for me, I found myself getting bored of it very quickly because it was just, you know, shoot something, stun it, and then crush its skull, which is cool, don't get me wrong, but I didn't. it didn't hold my attention for very long, so I guess we'll see, but that's just me. Um, that's 2025, and I did think the when he loaded the skulls into the... I don't know, it was like a, a chain gun or, or something like that. Uh, it, it does look cool. So I guess we'll see on that one. Claire Obscure Expedition 33. 2025. Uh, is that maybe possibly the... I don't know what that is, actually. Unless it's the fall. I, I have no idea. Winter Borrow 2025. Mixed Tape 2025. Wood Chang Fallen Feathers. I think, wasn't that another Soulsborne type game? I think it might have been. 2025. Atom Fall, Atom, sorry, Fall 2025, again, no idea what it is. The Unknown Ones, uh, Gears of War, uh, uh, is it Escalation Day? Uh, there was rumours of Gears of War collection for some time, and obviously that didn't really pan out, uh, but that looks kind of interesting. It's uh, a young Marcus Phoenix and uh, Dom. And I think this is this is like a prequel set before Gears of War One, so I don't know how far behind in terms of the timeline, but it it looks good, and um, the graphics do look very very cool. Uh, it, it's it just it's Gears. Gears is always fun, um, but I do want to see where they're going to go with Gears Six, or if there's going to be like that rumored collection that's been that's been leaked and as well. So I guess we'll see on that one. The date on that is unknown at this time. Um, Perfect Dark again Perfect Dark has been through a lot of controversy uh, the studios this part of other studios all quit and left and I believe it's been worked on partially by is it Square Enix I think um, I Perfect Dark is probably my second probably my second favourite shooter from the like the you know the the retro type generations now like N64 I played a lot of that with and without the expansion pack around my friend's house at the time um it is the better game if you compare it to Goldeneye in terms of the amount of features and options within the game and how many different ways you can set up multiplayer matches and you've got different weapons mods uh mods sorry um uh AI enemies etc you can add in but uh depending on whether you've got the expansion pack or not, but I still... GoldenEye is just a little bit more ingrained in my sort of my conscious. It was just the game I played before Perfect Dark, but Perfect Dark is fundamentally the better game, really. But I will always go with GoldenEye because it's just the one I played first and it's the one I have the most nostalgia for. Nostalgia is a funny thing. Uh, it doesn't always make logical sense, but uh, eh, each to his own. So, But Perfect Dark, the new one, it it's very... It's got like a, a mirror's edge vibe there's a lot of parkour but there's also quite a lot of um, gunplay within it and it looked quite interesting it looks like they've gone kind of back to her more original look in terms of uh, 
is it Diana? Is Diana Dark? Is that? I think that's that. I can't really remember now. But um, yeah, it looks good. Uh, again, date on that is unknown. Then we've got State of Decay Three. Uh, I've never played a State of Decay game. I don't think so. I have no idea other than it's a zombie type game. Um, zombie games have been done to death in a way, but um, it still could be fun. I have no idea. Again, the date on that is also unknown. So. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, they, oh, and Doom is also coming to PS5. So PS5 owners, you do have some stuff coming. And putting saying that about PlayStation, their um, their state was it State of Play or whatever it was. It wasn't very. It wasn't very good. Um, their new um, oh hero shooter looked. It just looked like a a um. Guardians of the Galaxy, in terms of the characters and the aesthetics, rip off. Quite frankly, it didn't look particularly that uh, impressive to me. Uh, but that's just because I don't tend to play hero shooters. Um, but this is a a live service game, so it's probably dead on arrival. It could, it may not be. I might be being overly critical, but um, they don't do nothing for me personally. But um, I'm sure there'll be people that will gravitate to it. But uh, I guess we'll see. Um, South of Midnight. Uh, again, that that had quite a bit of gameplay to it. Um, again, it looks very sort of Soulsborne in a, in a lot of ways. But that could be kind of good, depending on um, how difficult it is, I guess. Oh, and we have to mention Metal Gear Solid um, <laughs> remakes galore, man. Uh, Snake Eater, or it's called now Delta. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm in on that straight away. That looks that looks fantastic. Um, from what I've been told, it's it's all the original audio, just with a uh, obviously a brand new graphics and and stuff. So I, I guess we'll see on that one. But that looks oh, I can't wait to play that. I should really play some games that are actually new and not just constant remakes, um, particularly when it comes to Resident Evil. But I still want to know whether that Code Veronica remake is coming. Um, come on, Capcom! I was hoping to see something from Capcom, but we didn't see anything other than what they showed, which was Monster Hunter Wilds, which I've it doesn't personally interest me Monster Hunter, but that's just me. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and on Game Fest was... There was a couple of a little bits that were kind of good, but mostly Game Fest was a snooze fest. It was there was some interesting indie stuff there, but other than that, it just it was rather bland, to say the least. Um, did they come out with the money that they're having to... Pay, they actually had to pay to show those games? Like, one minute, it's like 250,000... Like, uh uh, US dollars. I was like, Jesus Christ! Like, um, clearly Jeff Keighley's making a lot of money. Um, but um, I did like the fact that he did call out developers for not treating, uh, call out sorry, call out the publishers for not treating the developers with the respect they deserve. Um, but unfortunately, that's Western uh, capitalism for you, I guess. But um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it, really. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing: Diablo, Diablo Four, and World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is, again, it's not my bag at all. Uh, Diablo 4 I'm playing on Game Pass and on PC. Uh, yeah, it was just a cutscene of the expansion, which was... Uh, do you know what? I can't really remember what the actual uh, name of the expansion actually was now, which is slightly embarrassing. But it is uh, Vessel of Hatred. That was it, Vessel of Hatred. So, yeah, not bad. I guess we'll see. And Life is Strange, I think, was shown as well, but it's not a launch. It's not on Game Pass at launch, I believe. So yeah, it it generally was a very very good showcase. Um, Xbox was easily the better showcase, comparing it to PlayStation this year for sure. Although PlayStation's wasn't, I don't know if it was a a full showcase per se, but. Mm. But PlayStation hasn't got anything till next year, apparently. So we shall see. But I know there's a Switch Nintendo thing coming up soon. I believe this month at some point. So we should be hearing about new Nintendo games on Switch. And but there will be nothing about the the success of like Switch Two or whatever the next iteration of the Nintendo Switch is going to be. So it should be quite interesting to see where that goes. 